a chance to talk to one of the pilots that escaped back here, so I took it. Apparently, two of our planes took the enemy on alone. They covered the Allies so they could retreat. The hell kind of idiot does a thing like that? The last pilot to land back at the base was that scrawny anarchist dude. He always had this dumb grin on his face. Like he didn't give a damn about whatever he did to get thrown in here with the rest of us. Was he the one who went gung-ho? I bought him a drink later. After the usual small talk, I turned the topic around to the mission. For an anarchist, he struck me as a bit weird. Nothing like what I expected. He talked a mile a minute and kept going on and on about library books. Not encyclopedias, those cheesy adventure novels you read in high school. Nothing against those. I like a good story myself once in a while. But I wasn't here to talk books. Uh, I remember that day well. Amidst the swirling clouds, a fighter squadron was trying to help its allies reach safety. He's pretty foolish, isn't he? I thought so too. Suddenly, a highly skilled enemy fighter squadron appeared and began picking them off at the edges. One by one, they fell right out of the sky. Although, I guess there was nobody around that was even more foolish to go to their aid then. So, you simply watch things unfold from a distance. Yeah. I mean, who would have ever thought that I'd just go and follow them straight into the enemy squadron like that? After what felt like decades, I finally got to the info I was looking for. He wasn't the guy. He said he was just following his wingman's lead and managed not to die somehow. The hero on this mission was the new guy. The one that killed Harling. <laughs> How did you feel? I'm still kind of shaken up, actually. But you know, I do feel a certain sense of pride, too. He really is foolish, isn't he? Yep, he sure is. I went to the hangar to have myself a closer look at Trigger's plane. I knew that burnt smell. That's what happens when an engine's been driven to its limit. This pilot was a hot dog. From now on, I was gonna keep my eye on this idiot. From a distance, though. I didn't want to get too tight with someone who was a better pilot than my dad. Even so, I decided to give this guy's plane a little bit of the old Avril magic touch. He needed all the help he could get. All right, episode eight, mission eight, pipeline destruction. Just another ground strike mission. Attention. If you disobeyed orders in the previous mission, line up over there. You won't disobey a second time. Do not test my patience. The biggest threat to our forces is the enemy's enormous swarm of drones. In order for our forces to penetrate deep into Arusian territory, we'll need to clear a path. You will destroy the enemy's fuel plant. HQ has found evidence that fuel is being moved intermittently inland from a refinery at the harbor in Artiglio. It's likely they're supplying fuel for the various drone bases. Those of you whose food privileges were taken away already know how this goes. We silence the drones by taking their fuel. Enter via the estuary, take out their AA, destroy the fuel points on both sides of the river and their oil tankers. Remember, you're not bona fide military. You're expendable. All right. Here we are. So yeah, let me know if um if you guys want to see any any other uh, aircrafts because I have a lot here, as you can see. The F-18 Super Hornet, the F-16 Fighting Falcon, the F-15E Strike Eagle. F-15J, F-15C, F-14D, 
the F2A, A10, F104, uh, F35, YF23, Mirage, Raphael, Typhoon, Gripen, MIG 21, MIG 29, or here, let me show you. MIG 21, MIG 29, MIG 31, Sukhoi 30, Sukhoi 30 SM, Sukhoi 33, Sukhoi 34, Sukhoi 35, Sukhoi 37, Sukhoi 47, Sukhoi 57, and then these are like planes that don't actually exist. It's the XO2, the ADF, and the ADF 101. So, uh, yeah, just let me know because um, if you guys want to see any other jets, uh, I'll be sure to uh, play as them in the next video. Um, if you guys want to uh, leave a comment saying what uh, jet you guys want me to play as, yeah, or use. So, here, I'm just going to start it up and uh, uh, try to do this as fast as possible. Champ went down crying like a baby. I knew he was all bark and no bite. <laughs> the coward. You don't want to talk, running off with your tail between your legs. I wasn't running away, I was retreating. Well, I can't say I blame you. It was hell out there. Man, I'm not in the mood for this shit today. I want to blow stuff up to let off steam. Target in sight. I want to see a lot of oil tanks. Boats, power warships. There's plenty of buildings, too. Destroy everything in sight. I appreciate the simplicity of the operation. Military. You think you look anything like military? Fox 2. Damn! That's what I call fireworks. <laughs> yeah! I've got more bad news. The Megastorm and Nessa 2 that formed a few days ago is approaching our AO. No time to smell the roses, man. Hey. A fighter pilot needs to fight. Missions like this are too easy. Another one Take this. Burn, bitches! Are you guys all done?
now you have free meals and a warm bed. We should thank our good citizens. That's like the most annoying part of this mission. Just trying to find all these guys. It takes so long. Celebrating, but I don't hear anyone 
saying all targets have been taken down. Spare 15, target destroyed. One more truck down. Half of all. Weapon systems acting up. I can't fight like this. I'm gonna break off. There he goes, running away. And he is with the drones here. Just say what you want. I fun with you, your friends. The tankers are getting farther away. Trigger splash to fifth bandit. He might get them all. Target detected on radar. Target confirmed near full band. Dig around. Damn it, I've got one on my back. Last ones are all the way over there. Hmm. Need to hurry up and get to these targets before time runs out. Alright, so look at here what I got. Hmm. A mission was a success. There's nothing else I need to say. Dismissed. A rank, alright. Um yeah, and that's it for uh, episode eight. I'll see you guys in episode 9.